Okay, so hey guys, it's uh, Quinston, and today we're going to look at something that is called as the bucket sort or the bin sort. Now, this is a sorting algorithm that works by partitioning an array into a number of buckets. Each bucket is indexed and it has its own number. So, so each of these buckets, when filled, are individually sorted either by using a separate or a different uh, sorting algorithm, either by an insertion sort, a bubble sort, or whatever sort you like. Or you can either reapply the bucket sort as as, as a recursive algorithm. Now this is a distributed sort which means that you use external data structures to sort it out and it is a cousin of the radix sort um, but that's kind of irrelevant at this point. <laughs> so bubble sort can be implemented with comparisons and therefore it can be considered as a comparison sort algorithm. Now whatever information I'm saying is got off the Wikipedia page you should probably always check out the Wikipedia page before doing anything about algorithms and whatever because Wikipedia is pretty awesome or you can have a generalized you know IEEE format paper you can check that out so without further ado I'm gonna just tell you what exactly we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna create an array we're gonna uh, index elements into that array and uh, we're gonna create linked lists which come out from that array and point to different elements and then we're gonna sort it out in that fashion so um, I have a in the description I've linked to um, an animation which you can see so that it can be well versed with what the algorithm actually does visually so yeah be sure to watch that before going forward with this tutorial because if you do not watch that i swear you'll not, not understand a single word so please watch that before you proceed so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to you know expand this over here the main function so the main function i have a bunch of things i have a max value declared a length and an array list so basically the max value is the, the, the maximum amount an element can have, the maximum value an element can have in your array. The, the, the length is obviously the length of the array and this is a list. Basically an array is an array in whatever programming language you consider. This is Python so beware. What I'm doing over here in these two lines is basically assigning 10 elements to the array which are completely random and are from the range like in the range 0 to 99 including zeros and 99s or I'll get this basically that is uh, the array to be sorted is and these are random numbers which can be generated again and again you know like 14, 16 whatever these lines generate random numbered array okay so we come over here and this is the nodes list a nodes array which will contain nodes I'll tell you what nodes are in a moment but uh, yeah just consider this as an array which contains nodes Yes, the, those are data structured nodes which are going to be linked to the linked list. So next we have uh, a loop which goes from 0 to 10. X goes from 0 to 10 in that loop. And there, over there you have nodes equal to node of 0. Now what is this? Let's go up top where I've declared the class node. And in there, I have a bunch of things. The first one is a key. Now the node will have a key and the node will have a link which goes vertical. So if you imagine the array to be horizontally placed, then the links will be on top of each other. I have linked to uh, I have a link to an animation in the description which shows you how the bucket sort actually works, you know, in in an animation form, and you can check it out and you'll understand why I have have uh, denoted the name to be vertical. So then you have um, a node which is generated. If you don't know what a node is, I encourage you to watch my previous tutorials. This is just a data structure an ADT, an abstract data structure which you use to, you know, solve problems. And in this case, the bucket sort is the problem. So yeah, I've assigned node, node, and I've given the value 0, which means that I have a vertical uh, link which is none, and a key which is 0 right now. And now I assign that to a variable called node. So a variable called node. So I'm going to do this, nodes.append node, which means that I'm adding this node to the list nodes. And then I'm going forward. So x for 0, x for 1, x for 2, and again and again until 10. So I'm going to add 10 empty nodes with the key value 0 and pointing to nothing in this nodes array. Okay, so what this does is that basically. It creates an array with empty nodes, empty data structures. But you'll fill them in the next line. So again, for x in range of 0 to 10, length is 10, value equal to array of x. Now what is array of x? Array of x is the first element in the array that we generated right over here, the random number, the first random number. Next we have index will be equal to value times length divided by the max value. This is, this is the hasher. This is the hashed formula which we use to generate the index. It's basically an integer. 
So you use value, that is the val, which we got over here, into the length, which is 10, divided by the maximum value, which is 100. So that generates a value which you use, basically. So then what I'm going to, uh, this will generate a value from 0 to 10, because I use the max value as 100. And suppose, take an example, you have 35 over here. 35 times 10, that is 35, 0, 3, 5, 0, divided by 100, that is 3.50, right? So that's 3, if you convert to an int. So the index will be 3. That's how it works. So then you have an item, okay? Add item to list. And this is the function which I've declared up there. So now I have 3, right, as the index. So add item to list nodes. Nodes is basically our empty node containing array. So that I'm going to pass in the array. Similarly, I'm going to pass in a value. That is the value which we got over here from the first element. And then I'm going to pass in an index, which we generated over here. That is 3, right? So I'm going to pass it in here. And we go to the function, which is right over here. Define the function. And then I'm going to make a new node. Node, node, value. I'm going to pass in the value, which is right now 35. And I got a value. And we created a new node by this particular code over here. In it. This is the constructor if you didn't know. So current will be equal to nodes of index. Now what is nodes of index? What I said is we're going to pass it into buckets, right? We're going to take the value, index it and push it in the index bucket. So what I did in here is I created nodes which are basically buckets. Get the interconnection empty nodes will function as buckets and you will point them from the nodes which are in the array to the new nodes which you create over here. Okay, so what I mean by that is, okay, if current is the node in the array, I'm gonna point it dot vertical to node. Okay, which means you're just attaching it. So what I print after that is inserted value at the end of the list. And if you have watched the animation which I've linked in the description, you'll probably know what I'm talking about. And if that's not the case, the values are not at the end and there's a collision, then you'll do this. While not current dot vertical is equal to equal to none, which means that while current dot vertical is not equal to none. Vertical is basically the next node. So if this is not the case and if a value is less than current dot vertical dot key, if the value which you have with you is less than the value which is above inside the list then what you do is you have to insert them between insert item between current node and current on vertical you have to insert node between current and current on vertical so what you do is i uh, create this function right over here this function is pretty simple but it does a very important job it inserts an item between the two linked lists so i passed in the first uh, pointer the second pointer that is the current and the last pointer which is so you have to insert current between first and last that's pretty simple right First dot vertical is current and current dot vertical is last. Pretty simple, just insert in between. Then I'm going to print out inserted the value in between. And I'm going to return because I don't want to do anything else after that because the job we needed to do is already done. Else, current equal to current dot vertical. Okay, if there's more than one value right now in it, more than two values, whatever, you just do current equal to current dot vertical, it will go into the while loop and not finish. To recap, node equal to new node, basically create a new node. Current is equal to nodes of index. The bucket okay this index will denote the bucket which you fill and current will be over there in it okay so while not current or vertical is equal to equal to none while current or vertical is not none if the value is less than the value above it then you have to insert them between those particular you know elements or those particular nodes and then you're going to print out inserted value in between the current and current or vertical keys and then you return else current equal to current vertical because you want to go above and check and then if this doesn't happen any of these uh, functions don't execute and the return function is not executed you come over here a current or vertical equal to node print and uh, just inserted it printed the value that is inserted val at the end so you know that's pretty simple and the buckets are filled now you take uh, this over here new array is equal to list that is for x in range of 0 to 10 current equal to nodes of x nodes of x is the list the first element in the nodes list and you give it the give the pointer to the current current equal to current at vertical you shift one pointer because right now it's pointing to the value in the array but you don't want that you want to point in the link list so you start from the bottom up 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 next up 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 next up 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 okay so while not current equal to equal to none new array equal to append current dot key so what you do is you take the value from the link list and you put it into the new array. Then you do current equal to current or vertical, which goes to the next node in the linked list. 
similarly what you do next is you just go again in the while loop and if it's not like that then you go up there in range x so that's how you do it and if i execute this piece of code you'll see that, that it, it works you have this array over here and you have the sorted array right over here all the values 87 comes over here uh, the smallest one is 18, 18 is over here, there's no other value smaller than that and yeah this is the sorted array. C91 is here in between because there was a collision and it was shifted above something probably 87 or yeah probably 87 but oh well that's for you to decide or the program to decide so yeah that's about it this is how the bucket sort works actually so thanks for watching and, and one more thing if you don't understand this you should probably watch the animation because if you watch that I swear you'll understand everything and you'll know what I'm saying in this like over and over again. So watch the animation at the bottom of the page in the description. And yeah, thanks for watching. Later guys.